Hi, this is Pilar Jutotar. Now I am going to discuss interview questions and answers on SAPHD. This is part one. We discuss first question now. What is SAPHD? SAPHD stands for Sales and Distribution. It is one of the primary modules developed by SAP to manage the shipping, billing, selling, and transportation of their products. This module stores the consumer and product data of customer of a company. SAP uses these details to make better choices and maintain a good relationship with the customer and the company or organization. SAPHD, when combined with other modules like MM, production planning can bring much better results very quickly. So SAPHD is mainly deals with uh, selling of any products in the company. It is integrated with uh, other modules like management, uh, materials management and production planning and uh, FICO, etc. Now we go to next question. What is primary function of SAP? SAP is one of the top ERP software that is being used in many large enterprises to run smoothly and to grow in the business and services. So the primary function of SAP is integration of all business processes within the company. That means all functional areas will be strongly integrated with the help of this SAP software. Now we go to next question. What are the areas we use SAP? SAP was initially developed by few IBM employees to resolve the problems arising in a software application. After some time, SAP came up with application software that is SAP R3 where R remains real-time data processing and 3 represents application presentation and database leaders. So there are so many areas where we can use this SAP. So SAP means it is R3, R means real-time data processing. Here, there are three types of layers, application layer, presentation layer, and database layers will be there. Eventually, it gained popularity among many huge enterprises, which resulted in doing so many other SAP modules to cover certain areas in a business. A few of those modules are finance and accounting, controlling, production and planning, materials management, etc. So there are number of modules within the SAP. For example, FICO means finance and accounting, controlling, production and planning, materials management, like that. Well, now we go to next question. Name the key components in SAP SD. So what are the key components, important components in SAP SD means? The following are the important co components. Customer and vendor master data, contract handling and management, transportation of products, shipping of material, credit management, information system, sales activities, billing related, foreign trade, and sales support. So these are all the important components in SAP SD. Now, next question. Explain organizational structure in SAP SD. There are many components in SAP sales and distribution like sales areas, distribution channel, division, sales office, sales group, and it follows two main steps which go as follows. So there are two main steps in organizational structure. To create organizational elements in SAP system, the first one is we have to create different organizational elements that is company code, company sales organization, distribution channel, and the division. That is the first step. Second step is, and to link each element according to the requirement. So whatever organizational elements we have created, we have to assign each one of them according to requirements. Now we go to next question. Describe material management in the SAP ERP system. 
material management is also one of the key modules in SAP ERP system, which is interlinked with other modules of SAP R3. Its primary operations are to keep a record and monitor day-to-day -day business operations and requirements in the inventory. All these SAP modules are interrelated with each other. Materials management module is mainly deals with inventory management and it strongly integrates with SAP SD. We go to next question. How is material management associated with SAP SD? There are so many links between SAP SD and SAP MM. For example, material management is required to create inbound and outbound updates for sales and distribution. Similarly, price details and the availability of the products are taken from MM, but are controlled by sales and distribution module. Orders placed by the customers should be extended to sales area in an organization or else it, it, it gets difficult or impossible to transact with the material. This shows that these modules are interconnected with each other and all other modules are interrelated. So mainly this SAP SD and SAP MM are strongly interrelated with each other because the, all the inventory is dealt by this material management module. And that is very, very important for our sales modules to get the sales. <clears throat> We go to next question. What are SAP SD modules? SAP SD is one of the essential modules in SAP ERP. It contains all the data and information about their customers and services. It deals with shipping, selling, and transportation of goods and services of the organization. There are many sub modules of SAP SD. So we can do many, many functions with the help of this SAP module. For example, we can do selling, shipping, and transportation of goods from one place to another place. And there are so many sub-modules. We are going to learn what are those sub-modules in the next question. <clears throat> Name the sub-modules of SAP SD. So the following are the sub-modules. SAP SD MD, that is master data. SAP SD BF, that is basic functions. SAP SD SLS that is sales, SAP SD SHP that is shipping, SAP SD TBA that is transportation, SAP SD FTT that is foreign trade, SAP SD BAL that is billing, SAP SD CAS that is sales support. Now we go to next question. <clears throat> Explain about sales support. Sales support is one of the major components of SAP SD. It is also called CAS, means copter aided selling. The main purpose of this module is to help companies and organizations to build new sales, tracking of old and existing sales, and to keep record of the performance as, as well. So the main, the main aim of this sales support is to carry out the sales process in a successful manner. This module will help these organizations to look up work progress and make changes in the procedures if necessary. It even helps to attain the list of inter interested customers, which you can connect through emails, which will ultimately help in the business. So this module will help the organizations to have very good relationship with the customers. So that's why that will increase the business of the organizations. <clears throat> Next question, we go. What are the main functions of sales order processing? The wholesale side of an organization is the primary area of the focus in the sales order. Its primary functions are checking the availability of purchased articles, e-transfer of documents and printing them, checking for incomplete data, checking the status updates of sales transactions, scheduling goods delivery dates, calculation of prices and taxes. We go to next question. What is the sales area in SAP SD? 
the sales area in sap sd is the combination of sales organization distribution channel and division so the combination of sales organization distribution channel and division is called sales area it will help us to determine what marketing strategy has been adopted by one particular division for improving the sales we go to next question what is the distribution channel in sap sd this distribution channel consists of information and the details of the distributed products so the channel through which we distribute the products is known as distribution channel this means it keeps log of all the products and services provided by an organization to its users we go to next question explain division in sap sd the division is a structure that shows product and service lines of a product in an organization so what is division means the number of products the different products comprised in company the number of products or different products being sold by the company to its customers all those products are coming under different divisions we go to next question <clears throat> what is partner function there are many actions and that happen in a company or an organization and sap hd count all of these steps through partner functions this function allows the organizations to keep a record of performance and which partner is linked up to one particular customer and keeps the details of the people with whom the business process is carried out so what is basically partner function means so all these are partner functions means they carry out different functions of the business so all these are related to customer we go to next question <clears throat> list the types of partner functions in sap sd there are several partner functions based on the types of partners they go as follows so partner type partner function vendor forwarding agent customer selling shipping so these are all the partner functions human resource and sales personnel we go to next question explain sales activity in, in an sap hd a lot of activities happen in sap hd and sales activity is one among them sales activities are those tasks the sales personnel undertake to improve the sales so sales activities are nothing but which are undertaken by sales personnel to increase the sales of an organization <clears throat> we go to next question name and describe types of sales activities these sales activities are basically divided into two one is pre sales activity second one is post sales activity what is pre sales activity means these are the activities that occur before the sales of the product to the customer like quotations and enquiries from the vendors so pre sales activities are those activities which are conducted before selling the product to the customer for example quotations and enquiries coming under pre sales activity next what is post sales activity means these are the activities that occur after the selling to the customer so these include relationship management etc we go to next question <clears throat> list the sum of general data control elements data control elements are used to determine different types of item categories you can also take existing item categories or create new ones some of the general data control elements are so all these are general data control elements what outputs are acceptable for business transactions what is the size of a complete product check if the pricing has to be carried out for an item or not check if the item is suitable for shipping and billing next question is what is an outline agreement a long term purchasing agreement signed with a vendor is called outline agreement 
the terms and conditions are written in the agreements stating the materials that are supplied by the vendors. So this is a long term purchasing agreement which happens between vendor and their customers. There are two types of outline agreements. One is a contract. Another one is a scheduling agreement. <clears throat> Next question. What is a contract in outline agreements? The customer and vendor signs up contract for a certain period of time. There are two types of contracts. One is quantity contracts and the other one is value contracts. So contract means it is the agreements signed between that uh, say signed by the vendor and the customer for a certain period of time. There are again two types of contracts. Quantity contracts, one is quantity contracts and the other one is value contracts. Quantity contract means it specifies how much quantity of the goods to be delivered to the customer. Value contract means how much money is involved in that selling process. <clears throat> we go to next question. Describe the process to create a scheduling agreement. I will explain this. It is an external agreement and it applies to customers. These agreements basically contain details of the products, delivery dates and services. We go to next question. Describe what are types of contracts. There are two types of contracts as I already told you. One is value contracts. In a value contract, the vendor has to pay the value and the value is written accordingly. And second one is quantity contracts. On the other hand, in a quantity contract, vendor has to write the terms of the contract according to quantity of the material being supplied. We go to next question. <clears throat> What are the schedule line categories? All the items are divided into schedule lines in a sales document. These schedule lines are assigned to multiple control elements. These schedule lines contain all the details like delivery dates, quantity, availability in inventory, etc. On the item with schedule lines are copied to SAP system. So basically what is schedule line category means how this line item will be scheduled to deliver to customers, whether that item is uh, is going to be delivered or not. So all these details comes under this schedule line categories. We go to next question. <clears throat> what are the schedule line categories in different sales document types? Schedule lines are categorized according to sales document type and item category. All these control elements that are related to general data and shipping are used to categorize schedule lines. We go to next question. What do you mean by copy control? Copy control is a process where all the important data like transactions in sales area are, are copied from one document to another. And SAP system consists of copy routines. These routines keep a record of how the system copy data from one source to the target documents. This information will help create additional routines that will meet the business requirements. So basically what is copy control means this copy control helps the copy data from source document to target documents. <clears throat> we go to next question. How do copy controls work in SAP systems? Copy controls have three different levels in sales order, which goes as follows. One is header level. It is used when the system copies the data from the header source document to the target header document. And second level is item level. This is used to find out the status of the line item. And the third one is schedule line level. This is only relevant when copying of sales orders is done from the billing documents. So basically, there are three levels of copy controls, header level, item level, and schedule line level. We go to next question. <clears throat> uh, 
how is pricing done in sap hd pricing is used to determine the prices of external vendors or customers there are set of conditions when the price is being calculated so we can do pricing in sap hd with the help of this uh, condition records i will explain remaining questions in my next video thanks for listening to my course